Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and make a uh, pointy cone. Uh, so basically something like this. Uh, we're going to give it a certain uh, diameter and uh, opening hole size and finish it off at a, at a, at a point. Um, in this lesson, uh, I'm going to show you that you can make any type of diameter opening hole and then with a combination of any height that you want to to do so this will apply to you know any number that you guys want to do so i'm going to teach you just that um so you're going to obviously need a uh our compass here and uh, most importantly you're going to be in need of uh, this uh flexible tape measure right here which i have all right let's get to this let's teach how this gets done Okay, so the first one, we're going to go ahead and make this right here. So, we're going to go ahead and make a, a cross. Let's see, we're going to start by doing one right here. Okay, so something like, like this. Then put this like so, right around there. Yeah. And then do a random vertical and horizontal line. So make a cross just like that. Okay, so this is pretty easy. So the first one we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a six inch diameter hole. So what you do is you take a tape measure so what i do is you start from here so six inches or i'm sorry four inch diameter hole sorry about that so what you do is you take four divided by two is um two inches so on this half of the cross you're going to go two inches that way to the right and two inches to the left which makes four so one, two, like that, and then one, two, like that, and that's four inches. So that's the diameter of the hole, okay? See that? Four inches. Then I'm going to make it uh, four inches or six inches in height. So then what you do is right here where the, the vertical and horizontal lines meet, you measure from here down six inches. So, I'm going to take my tape measure. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, right here is six inches. See that? Hopefully, you guys can see that from the camera angle. Make that a little darker. Okay. Just so you guys can see, six inches. Okay. So, now, here's the fun part. All you do now is you take your compass, put your sharp point on your six inch height mark, which is from here to here, which is six inches, and then open it up, open up your pencil point to either or either left or right uh, where the um, the ha or the two inch marks are for four inch. See how they almost match? Well, they actually pretty match, pretty close. And this is what you do. Really easy. Watch. You do that okay now we serve we're making a four inch hole a four inch radius hole for this cone so you take your calculator and you do the uh, pi so you go uh, you go four inches times 3.1416 equals 12 and 9 sixteenths so then uh, this whole thing is basically what it's telling you is that from here, from this point, all the way around to here, closed loop, is 12 and 9 sixteenths. So what you're going to do is only take half of that pi right here. So you go 12 and 9 sixteenths divided by 2 equals 6 and 5 sixteenths. So that's telling you that from this point, halfway point half point to this cone to this height is six and five sixteen so that's what you're going to do here so we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to count from the center 
or where this arc is at right here, 6 and 5 sixteenths to the right. Or you can go to the left. But in this case, I want to go right. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we need 6 and 5 sixteenths. So there's 6 and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6 and 5 sixteenths is, let me see, let me measure again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so there it is. So 6, so from here to here is 6 and 5 sixteenths. Okay, from here to halfway point here is 6 and 5 sixteenths. Now all you do is you take your compass, put your sharp point maybe right here in the center. It can even be here, but it doesn't really matter. And what you can do is put right there on this center point. And all you're doing is transferring what you have here over to this side of the arc. So that way you don't have to measure it again with your tape measure. We're going to lock it in place like that. See that? I'm going to swing it over. Strike an arc. And boom, there it is. This distance from here to here is the same from here to here. See that? So, you've now completed the big cone, which is a four inch radius hole with a six inch height cone. See that? So this, this whole layout is this. And just so you can see, this should match pretty close. See that? So then what you do is when you get done, you just put it like so, and then you roll it. And then it'll finish off like that. Easy, right? That was fun. All right, let's do the next one. Let's do another, let's do another exercise just so you guys can get the point. All right, let's do, let's do this one right here. So this one's going to be... This one's going to be this cone right here. So this one is a three inch, three inch cone. See that? And we're going to give it a four inch height. Okay. So let's do this one. So again, we're going to do a cross. Okay. Let's see. Let's do one right here. Right around there. And we're just going to do a random vertical line. Just like that. But what you want to do is a cross. Okay. I'm going to take this. Kind of butt it up against that. It's pretty even. Looks like it's 90. Okay. Go ahead and do a horizontal line, a random horizontal line, so that we can make our X. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, so same step again. We said that we want to do a three inch hole, right? So here's your dividing line. So three inches divided by two is one and a half inches. So we're going to go one and a half to the right and one and a half to the left. So one inch and a half to the right, one inch and a half to the left, that makes your three inch, okay? All right, now we say we want to give it a four inch height. So you measure from here, from where the vertical and horizontal lines meet. From here, measure down four inches. So that's what we're gonna do. So one, two, three, four. Our four inch height mark is right there. I'm gonna put four, just so you guys can see, four inches in height. Okay, now what's next? We're gonna take our compass and we're gonna, we're gonna put our sharp point where our four inch height mark is at right there. 
and then open up your pencil point to one of these points on the left or the right where it's uh, one and a half inches it can be either or okay now we're going to do a random arc doesn't really matter how how big you want to do it you just don't know well i guess you kind of do know depending on, on the radius all right the next step is calculator time all right so we said we're going to make a three inch so you go three inches times 3.1416 equals 9 and 7 16 so what it's telling you is that from this point here all the way wrapped around to the other end meeting at the same loop is 9 and 7 16 total right here and what are we doing we're going to be dividing it in half so we're going to go 9 7 16 divided by 2 equals 4 and 11 16 so what it's saying is that from here to here is 4 and 11 16 so that's what we're going to do we're going to take our tape measure and now measure from this point to the right or to the left 4 inches and 11 16 so I'm going to take our tape measure right here and I'm going to go ahead and do my best by getting it lined up so that's 1, 2, 3, 4 so we want 4 and 11 16 so I want to go let me see 13, no 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 so if you guys noticed and counting in reverse what I did is I went uh, five inches total and then I went in reverse uh, and counted my sixteenths back so I can get to 11 because it's so tiny I can't really see okay so next step we're going to take our T measure I'm sorry our compass and put it at any point so in this case I'm going to put it where the vertical and horizontal lines meet like so and I'm going to open up the pencil point to where I mark the 4 and 11 sixteenths mark. I'm going to lock it in place like that. I'm going to swing it over. I'm going to strike an arc on the other side of the big arc. And there's their layout. Let's go ahead and, uh, and draw up the lines. Boom, like that. Do another one on this side, connect the dots, and there's your layout for this cone right here. So let's see. It'll match pretty close, so that's this. Boom, like that. Yeah, pretty close. What do you guys think? Easy, right? This is really easy exercise. So as you can see, this goes like that, and it wraps, you have to fold it. As you can see, it wraps all the way around the cone, like so. So there's that. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's do the last one. Let's do another exercise. So say we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, a two inch. So instead of having a six inch, I'm sorry, a four, a four inch, or instead of having a three inch we're now going to go ahead and do let's do a two inch two inch opening hole with a four inch height okay so let's do that so again we're going to go ahead and do a cross remember so let's do one somewhere around here okay so right around here and do a random vertical and horizontal line to make an X so and do something like that and then do this and then do a horizontal line all right there we go all right if you guys remember what do we want to do first we want to we want to identify first what type of opening hole we want to make so in this case it's going to be two inches so two inch divided by 
two is one inch. So you're going to go from the middle of the cross, right or left, one inch and one inch to make two. So I'm going to take our tape measure. I'm going to go one inch like this. I'm going to go one inch to the left. And that makes two inch. Okay. Now what do we want? We want to make uh, four inches in height. Four inch height cone. Okay, so what, what we're going to do is now measure from this point down four inches. So where the vertical and horizontal lines meet, you take your measurement from that point on down to the desired height. So in this case, it's four inches. So one, two, three, four. Boom, there it is. Okay, next step. We're going to take our compass, put your sharp point on your four inch height mark. And we're going to open up our pencil point either to the left or the right of where the, the one inch marks are at. And they should match. See that? Okay. You're going to throw an arc. Doesn't really matter how big. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our calculator. Okay. That's where this is going to come in. So we want to make a two inch cone. So we're going to go two inches times 3.14616 equals six and five sixteen. So what that's saying is that, wrong cone, that from here, from this split, all the way around again, closed loop. Is a total of six inches and five sixteenths. So what we're gonna do is divide that in half. So you're gonna go divided by two equals three and one eighth. So what that's telling you is that from this from this point all the way to this half point of the cone is three inches and one eighth. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start from here and measure a mark at three inches and one eighth. So we're going to take our uh, tape measure again. And I'm going to measure 3 inch and 1 eighth. So that's 1, 2, 3, 3 inches and then 1, 2, I think 1 eighth is right there. Okay, okay, there it is. So that supposedly from here all the way to this point is three inches and one eighth got it okay last step so you're going to take your compass put your sharp point on where the vertical and horizontal lines meet so that you can get a centered point then swing over your pencil point to the three and one eighth mark uh, let me see if i can get it closer Right around there, we're gonna lock it in place. You see that? Okay, we're gonna swing it over and boom, there it is. That is your layout for this cone right here. So let's go and finish it off. Join the marks. This is really easy. Um, let's see. Just finish this off and there it is you just made this layout this uh, layout to make this cone right here and if i did it correctly it'll be pretty close for this right here so that matches that see that and this just so you guys can see wraps right here and then goes all the way around like so to the close loop right there what do you guys think easy right this lesson te basically teaches you that you can do whatever size diameter hole cone and to whatever height you want to make it as long as you follow these uh these steps i'm um, pretty sure there's probably other ways of doing this uh, but as of right now this is one of the only ways that i know that i can do whatever size cone i want opening and to the whatever height I want to make it.
so that's it for this lesson hope you guys liked it and uh look forward to seeing you guys on the next one all right see you guys later bye